Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us in this first-round matchup of the National Invitation Tournament. Let's see how this matchup unfolds between the Cincinnati Bearcats and the Bradley Braves. Tonight really should be a good one. We've got two excellent point guards going at it. Number 20 makes it clear who's the leader out there. His counterpart tonight is also a guy that likes to lead by example for his team. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. The Braves, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. First of all, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Second, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Finally, play every defensive possession like it's the last. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Puts it up. You betcha. Both teams looking to get things going here. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to feed inside. Good anticipation defensively. Great play to take that to the basket. Stolen away. It's a fast break possibility. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. They're off into transition. He threw it down and still one to come. He saw that opening and took it right to the rack, baby. I don't even know if he felt the foul. The Braves will step to the line for the first time. Got it from the free throw line. That's seven unanswered. He's got a high post flasher. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Number 20 is fired up right now emotional. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Jumps into the defender. Number 52 makes the finger roll. Number 14 takes the pass. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. They work the perimeter on the outside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Turnovers either. Tries for two. He shoots from long range. He gets it to fall. got to get rid of it he throws it up from downtown he gets the bucket to fall
Gave it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle. The real extension. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. He's got a nice shot fake. Number 22 is called for the foul. First personal foul. Post flashes for the ball handler. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. And the frustration right there. Number 33 gets the pass. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Gave it up. Digger ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Decided against the home post and reverses the ball. Scorches the net. Teams looking to get things going here. He looks for three. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Yeah, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in, which that helps out. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. On the inside. Double team now, bad angle. He attempts the trifecta. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target at the end. Trying to go inside. Number 22 gets the ball. There's the trap. With a bucket. Perfectly executed. See if they can get a good shot this trip. They work it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Number 52 with a finger roll. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great play to take that to the basket. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensive. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Gets it. They scored seven in a row. Working it around the perimeter. Turns it over. The dribble gives it up. Dumps it in. 
from the low post. I'll tell you, a great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible. They look to get it to the inside. Gave it up. Trying to draw the foul. Number 33 makes the finger roll. Surprising opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Steals a pass. Long lead pass. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. The center takes the feed. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Leans in. Cincinnati are on a bit of a run. See how long they can keep it on, Brad. Trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me they don't respect us as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Number 45 makes the shot. He fakes. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. I think she's right about that. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Number 10 takes it away. The ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, it's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of shot opportunities. He seems to be making the most of tonight. Entry pass in the paint. And they get the turnover. Transition for two. He nails the bucket. Wait a minute. Let's replay that. They'll bring it up. Number one with the ball. Get around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliating. Poor job defensively. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled by go.
Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time scoring. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes it. He does the sweet fake shot. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. in the paint. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when you post can be an exceptional passer. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. He shoots from the top of the key. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Number four. Celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. Number 14 going to the line for the first time tonight. He got it. Here's a flash from the post up high. There's a double team waiting there. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Nice fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. At the foul line. Cashed it in. Oh, he drained it. MBN. Number one is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Should be an easy two or two perfectly executed. Jumps in and he scores despite the hack. And 
Entry pass in the paint. Pushing that basketball. Puts it up, looking for contact. Number one with a finger roll. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He tries the three. He hits it. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from left of the circle. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. On the outside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, this player has to be able to read. Brings it down. Him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art. Feed it a post. Excellent even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Number 10. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defense and tried to go right through him. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He puts up the three ball. He gets that one to fall. Nick, a great battle down in the low, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He shoots from downtown, drains the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Puts up the tray, tickles the twine. Controlling the ball. Number 22 grabs it. And a momentary look from three-point land. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. A high screen. He puts it in with contact and all. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. The fake. Here's a double team. He shoots. The Braves have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire.
executes the baby hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Basket falls despite the contact. At the half, the Bearcats are up by 12. We've had a tooth and nail battle so far, Dick. What was the play of the half, do you think? My highlight of the first half has to be this trifecta, Brad. It showed another one of the deadly weapons that this team has offensively. I expect more of that in the second half. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Bradley has been giving up the ball like it's worth nothing. Yeah, Brad, I don't know if I've ever seen a team turn it over the ball like this. They're basically telling their opponents to keep attacking them. Dick, two great players now heading into the second half. We watched them through the first half, and they played it pretty dead even. We'll see what happens here in the second half. I tell you, there's no doubt they're PT peers. They're primetime performers. They like the big moment, and they make big plays. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Working it around the perimeter. From the top of the key. Buried it. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. They work it around the arc. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. On oh, a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestle. Looking for a good shot. He launches the bomb. He gets the bucket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries for two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Defense is right up on him, not giving any open looks. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Got it. On the dribble, gives it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He fires from long range. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. And I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Gave it up. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. He 
He shoots from the elbow. Way off target. For two. Gets it to go. The Braves are trailing by 18. Unloads. He gets it to go. Up and inside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Intercepted. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They work the perimeter. Kicks it out. He goes for three. He makes the shot. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from right of the circle. Knocks it down. perimeter. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, laying in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. On the outside. Gave it up. He unloads a three. Makes it. Good fake. There's the trap. With the fake. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Puts the screen up on top. There he is, strips the ball loose. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Looking for contact. Number 14 makes the finger roll. At a momentary look from three-point land. Jumps into the defender. Cincinnati are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Got a wide open look. Now the high screen. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Oh, what a strip, Red. Gave it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He blocks the shot. Oh my goodness, that was unbelievable, baby! I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestle. How much fun would that be? Number 20 is charged with the foul. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He tries the three ball. Sinks it. On 
the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. seconds to put up a shot lets it fly great shot gave it up picked off And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed him, baby. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. He'll go to the line. He gets it to go. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Got some room. Top of the circle. Goes in. Roll that one back. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with the cheerleaders. Now that's a spectacle. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders, that's awesome, Brad. Fake. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Dump it inside. Looking for a good shot. On the outside. He fires it up. The Braves have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He did a great job recognizing the double team. the dribble gives it up good defensive stance there against the spin move well the key is to beat him to the spot he did a great job he anticipated that spin move from right at the circle is there enough in the tank for a comeback here dick stranger things have happened mr nestle but time's winding down the offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Entry pass in the paint. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Dancer. <laughs> Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? 
Well, guys, the difference in scoring jumps out at me. It's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of his shot opportunity, and he's making the most of it. Thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. There was no doubt about that one. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Drains it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. The Braves are down by 16. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries a three. Bradley are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Trying to draw the foul. Can't get the shot to drop. Got a man in high post. Goes up with it. Dickey's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Double team now, bad angle. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. the three ball he gets the shot to fall that's worth another look didn't give it to him down low going the other way gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post Barry's at home it off him and again they look to run dick you think they're going to stay this hot hey it doesn't look like they're slowing down my friend gave it up dick a great battle down in the low post but i think the offense is gaining ground here yeah, he get great inside position has the great angle he's got him set up perfectly for a basket they get the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He's got an open look for the shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle, he sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. in the paint and they come with a double team to stop it on the dribble gives it up number 52 with the steal they'll work it around the arc gave it up outside jumper off the rim and no good Drops the bucket despite the harm. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Grabs the rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the pass break. Number one draws the personal. 
Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the free throw line. He buries it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Misses the second shot. Leans in. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? They're working around the perimeter, looking for a good shot. From downtown, he buries the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Dump it inside. Wide open for the shot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Now the kick out. Launches the three. Got it. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He intercepts it. a hand in the way. He's money with a shot. He's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. That's going to be a five-second call. Credit that to the defense. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. He shoots from the top of the key. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. Hard foul. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Working it around the perimeter on the outside. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Oh, 
Dick, we're taking a look back now. We've watched this marquee matchup throughout the ballgame. How do you think it's played out? Well, I think it's played out fairly well, but it's all within the realm of the team. The one thing I like about the Stars, they're playing as a unit with their teammates. Bradley gets blown out. It seems they came in overconfident and ended up paying the price for it. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.